This was a really cool day. Actually, it was an incredibly hot day, but really fun day for flying. Basically, the guys were going to be ripping around uh, doing the barrel race in this rodeo arena with pickup trucks. And so I got a whole session where I was basically just going to jump in there with the Shindrones geyser and get the best shots I could get. Now, as usual, in this type of shooting, it's not quite the same as when you go out freestyle and you're trying to get, you know, a long shot. What you're really trying to do here is pick off good shots because as you see back there, there's crew standing around. In certain directions, there are a lot of people and vehicles and cameras and things like that. So I'm trying to aim for this direction where there are the hosts on the right there, getting the trucks going around, getting some really good up close shots while they're running, and then getting them on the exit. And then really I'm coming back, resetting, trying to conserve battery. You could see the wind blowing, so I'm now coming back against the wind. Um, but yeah, trying to basically take it easy while the next guy sets up. You could see that camera position there. Here's Marty's camera position out here. He always runs a long lens, so he'll be set up way over here. And a little shot of Marty. So, yeah, kill a few seconds here while they reset. And then I knew for this shot, Dax was going to go, and I really wanted to get this shot along the fence line here. So, I'm setting up. There's Eric bringing some stuff back over to Marty. Now, what I'm going to try to do is get down behind this fence and pick off this shot as Dax comes around in his truck. And this actually be, ended up uh, just how I had hoped, and they ended up using it in the opening sequence for the show, which was pretty cool. I'm also running 120 frames. So with a Hero 8, I believe I have on this, at 120 frames, you're down to 1080, and you're really using a lot of bandwidth, a lot of throughput, and as a result, your picture quality just isn't quite as good um, as it would be if you were running you know, slower frame rate. But when he comes whipping by here, it gives you the opportunity to slow it down and really... Um, oh yeah, he paused for a second. Now I'm just really setting up for this one shot and here it is. Boom. And then I'll show you what that looked like slowed down. You can see here, it just looks super cool when you slow it down. Bam, bam. Probably could have gotten a little deeper in there, but yeah, that shot got used in the show, which is cool. A lot of these shots got used in the show, but that one worked out just like I had hoped. So back to where we were. There again, you see crew, so I'm kind of getting down here trying to get, all right, what's my next shot? It's probably just gonna be the follow out shot. And I actually didn't really expect all those follow out shots to get used, but pretty much that was the shot they used on every run in the episode. So that's cool. And it just goes to show, you should always set up and just try to get as many cool shots as you can on any given run because you really never know what the editors are going to like. A lot of the time they end up grabbing these kind of whip around shots and sort of what I think of as sort of poorly framed shots. Um, those end up being the ones they want because they don't necessarily want like a perfectly framed wide shot or even a perfectly framed close shot. A lot of the time they want something that sort of comes in from the side, maybe goes back out the other side that type of thing. So setting up for the next run here, since these runs were close together I was able to do three on a battery which was pretty cool and because I wasn't going high speed I'm really just kinda hovering around Whew, that one got used. That was a good one and if you slowed that one down you could actually see Rob's face in the truck which was kinda fun. Um, again yeah just eating a lot of dust trying to set up a cool shot here. Can we get him on the exit again? 
and follow him out. So there you go. Season 1, Episode 10, Best Selling Pickup Truck. And that was the one where we got stopped down for COVID when we were in Austin, Texas, and we ended up coming back to Arizona and finishing up the episode. Good times.